Hello Aquarius, what is going on? I hope you're really well. <clears throat> My name is Madam Butterfly <laughs> and um, this is going to be a messages from your person for September Aquarius but it's timeless, you know. Whenever it happens to pop up in your feed Aquarius is when you were meant to get it. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, if you find the reading resonates with you, Aquarius, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I would be very grateful and appreciate that. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, Aquarius, the link to my website is in the description box underneath the video. Um, I don't do live readings, Aquarius, but if you were looking for a live reading, wow, sorry, I just need to interrupt here. Look at that. You definitely, there's an offer, there's something coming towards you. <clears throat> it looks like a new relationship. So it's likely to be someone that you know, but it's going to be a new relationship or at least a fresh start. Um, yeah, if you were looking for a live reading, I can recommend my sponsor Keen, um, which is, they're an online network of psychics. <laughs> oh my God, look, that's wild. Um, they're an online network of psychics. They are open 24 hours a day. You can choose which psychic you would like to talk to. And, oh my God, look at that. That is nuts. Uh, and there's that offer you're not sure about that popped up in your reading the other day. Okay, so um, if you head over to trykeen.com forward slash Madam Butterfly, you will get your first 10 minutes for $1.99. So, I can definitely recommend Keen for a live reading. And thank you so much to Keen for sponsoring the video. I appreciate it. So spirit. What would what would Aquarius' person like to know, please? Sorry if you can hear my stomach. Um what would Aquarius' person like them to know, please? I'm not even hungry, it just does that. <laughs> Making weird whale noises. Five of Pentacles, oh my god. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Good lord, look at all this pentacle energy. Right, you could be dealing with like a... Um, okay, <laughs> there's someone who's been out in the cold who wants to come in from the cold, okay? That is what your reading is wild. All these aces so far as well in the shuffling. So you have the five of pentacles with the ten of pentacles. So they've been out in the cold or they're feeling left out in the cold here, Aquarius. But they want commitment with you. Ten of pentacles, that's... You're somebody very serious. Very serious here. That ten of pentacles, they want commitment. They want long term with you. Uh, this could be about moving in together. This could be... I mean, it's a long term commitment in some way. King of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, I mean, there's a lot of Earth here, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, or just somebody very responsible um, who likes to be settled, you know, who, you know, is very stable, but there is a lot of Earth energy here, okay? Um, looks like a strong, silent type connection here. With the King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, they might not have opened up to you a lot in the past. They might just not be very good at that. Um, I'm kind of picking up Capricorn. I don't know why. Um, but they've been holding on to this. You might have kind of forgotten about this person. Or like they, you just weren't thinking about them. You know, maybe you were busy with other stuff. Because I know that's been coming up in your readings recently. Uh, but they've been holding on to this connection with you, Aquarius. The King of Pentacles, this is a quite, this is quite a protect, yeah, there's a lot of passion. Look at this. There's a lot of passion with this Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, more Earth energy. There's somebody coming in here with a very stable offer. It might have taken a really long time to get here. Look at all this earth <laughs> and passion. But yeah, that King of Pentacles energy tends to be quite protective, you know. Um, 
man or woman, doesn't matter. Women can be protective too. I don't know why that's always a thing for people. Like, they're, like whenever I say that in a reading, people are like, that's sexist, but women can be protective. <laughs> women have that vibe too. Chill out. Um, yeah, the King of Pentacles is like a very protective kind of vibe. It's usually someone that kind of, they see themselves as like a provider in some way, you know? Um, they like to provide for like, the, you know, they like to make sure their mum's okay, they like to make sure the family's okay, uh, they like to make sure their partner's well looked after. They're usually pretty abundant. That King of Pentacles, especially when they're offering you this 10, it looks like somebody fairly abundant is coming in here to settle down with you, Aquarius. Or they, they want to settle down with you. It's certainly somebody that wants long-term, <laughs> for sure. Um, you have the Six of Pent... Uh, God, I've got Pentacles on the brain now. You've got the Six of Cups here. So this is looking like somebody you already know, which I feel like came up in your reading the other day. I mean, I'm always kind of assuming with messages from your person, it's, you know, usually people... It's, it's someone that people know. Um, sometimes it can be someone new coming in, right? But... This looks for you guys, it's, it's someone you already know from the past, um, coming back in to, to have harmony with you here, to offer you their heart. Listen though, it's not going to be some gnarly ex coming in because this is a sweet offer coming in, that six of cups, That's it's somebody very sweet, that's a harmonious energy, you know what I mean? Um, it's just whether or not you want it, you know? Oh my god, okay. Um, so you have the Ten of Swords here with the Five of Cups here, okay? Um, and you have the Four of Cups. Oh my god, that's wild. Okay. Right, so you have the Four of Cups here with the Ace of Cups. So this is your person coming back in with that Ace of Cups, but this is Aquarius sitting here going, I don't know, I don't know if I want this offer. Me. I'm a, I don't know, maybe I'm okay single, or like maybe not right now, I don't know, meh. Um, you do have this Ten of Swords here and the Five of Cups, so there is some kind of regret here about the way things ended with you guys, like this person could have walked away from you um, with the Eight of Cups here, because I see, this is how it's come up at the bottom of the deck, so you have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, and then this Eight of cups so it looks like maybe somebody let like walked away from you at some point but they are coming back in fast could be a Scorpio you do have a lot of um, air energy popping up here which would be Gemini Libra or Aquarius uh, but you've certainly got an overthinker here but you know some of the earth signs are really guilty of that too somebody really just doesn't like or maybe you don't like the way that it ended with you guys here. Um, but it is a sweet offer coming back in here. So really, I don't see this being some kind of hideous ex coming back in. You know what I mean? I think you're going to be quite pleased to see this person. It's just, I just, you're not sure if you want the offer for some reason. I just, I don't know if like too much time has passed or like you're just not into it anymore or you're too busy or something. I do apologise, that's my phone. Clarify this Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords, please, Spirit. You know what? I think this person... I feel like they've been making money. I feel like this person walked away to make money. You might have met this person at work. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you guys um, used to work together and then one of you left or something like this. You have this eight of pentacles down here. So either you met this person at work or they've been away making money is kind of what I want to say because of all these pentacles that popped up here at the start. But this might be what it, uh, 
okay. So I think you've been confused as to why this person has not come back. So when they do come back, you're going to be like, what's the story? Like, you think you can just pop back in here, like, after however long and, you know, give me some kind of offer? Like, what's your story? Because you have this eight of wands here with this two of cups. <laughs> so there's, there's a union here. Or like this person, they're coming back. There's going to be communication, right? That eight of wands. You definitely, there's some kind of offer. You're going to get communication, you're going to get an offer. With the Six of Cups, it might, they might have some kind of, not, not super, not tons of emotions because the Page of Cups is not here, but I think they're really going to tell you how they feel as best as they can, right? Because bear in mind, it does seem to be a strong, silent type, but they're seeing you as the one with the Two of Cups here. Like, they're, in their head, they're coming back in for union. So I wonder if it, they, they, they definitely, I'm sure this person left you in some kind of way and it was maybe the, just the way that you, it's like they either left to make money or like you guys used to work together and then there was this split. But there's something here about, I think you don't like the way that it ended or maybe the way that they ended it or something like this. But. Yeah, they're definitely coming back in. Maybe this is them. They have regrets about the way that this ended. Maybe it's not you at all, but I do think for some reason, and this has came up, in, like I said, it's come up in your general readings too, and your other love reading I did the other day. I just, there's something about... It's like at first, it might catch you a little off guard, you know, because this person has been away for so long um, and I feel like there's been no communication. And then suddenly it's like they're going to come back in and be like, I love you. <laughs> I love you, boo. I just, um, you know, I just, why, why aren't you accepting my offer? But I don't know if it's just going to throw you a little bit at first and then you're going to accept it or you're just not interested at all. But see because you have the four of cups here and the five see it's the same three cups you, I don't know if you can see see like this little guy here has been offered he's been offered this cup of love right but he's looking at these three cups down here and then in the five of cups this guy is looking at the the three cups that are spilled here right so you have this ace of cups coming in that Aquarius is going to ignore um you have this two of cups which is behind him here so Yeah, there's just something about the way that this ended that you don't like. But I still don't think it's a gnarly old ex because it's such a sweet energy. I think maybe it's just you just don't like the way they, they ended it or something like that. I'm going to stop saying that because I've said it a few times now. <laughs> I'm just repeating myself by this point. Okay, what would Aquarius' person like them to know, please? They, yeah... I wonder if they just left to make money, Aquarius, and they never told you. Because, <laughs> you know, earth signs do that. If there's any earth sign watching, I'm sorry, but you kind, you kind of do. Like, you get caught up in the kind of material world and then you just leave air signs hanging on, being like, what's happened? <laughs> Where did you go? Um, but they've never stopped thinking about you, that you have keep the spark here. They've never stopped thinking about you. Like as far as they're concerned, the spark is as much there now as it was at the start. You have my beauty here, so they they really think you're very beautiful, Aquarius. Could be a twin flame connection here. Like this card always makes me think twin flame, obviously, because it looks like you know. Well, I don't have to explain that to you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, oh my God, you have adoration here. You are adored. Let me just get the cards that spirit threw on the floor at me. Um, let's get a couple more of these and then I will close down the reading. Oh my god, what was that? Anniversary. 
Right, there might, it might be like a year-ish since you saw this person. That's not focusing at all, is it? Oh my god, oh my god, focus, there we go. Um, <clears throat> so it might be like a year since you saw this person, there might be something significant about the date that they're coming back in, maybe it's going to be, I don't know, some kind of party or some kind of connection that you both know, but it, it could be a year since you last heard from them. Um, you could meet them at a party, like you could happen to meet this person again at a party. I don't see the G of Cups here though, so... Looks like it's something to do with more of a, a date, you know what I mean? Like a specific quantity of time that's going to be significant for you. Or like close to it, you know, maybe it's been close to a year. <clears throat> what did you throw at me? You have better together, so they're definitely missing you, Aquarius. Whether or not you've been missing them, who knows? <clears throat> and you have destiny at the bottom of the deck here. <clears throat> so this person, excuse me, they're certainly thinking of you as their destiny. I just want to clarify, I just want to get a card for that because there's a gap there. Um, give me a card for underneath the Six of Cups, please, sir. They really are smitten with you, oh my god. Right, you know what's funny? They're just doing this because I said it wasn't there now. Remember I said earlier? <laughs> um, it might not be that emotional because the Six of Cups is not there. It's the, um, the Page of Cups is not there. It's the Six of Cups. They've just put out the Page of Cups. <laughs> um, I hope that made sense. Like earlier on in the reading, I was like, don't worry, it won't be that emotional because I don't see the Page of Cups. And then there he is. So... There might be some like, ew, feelings involved here, Aquarius, ew, gross. Um, you know, they might <laughs> really open up to you, which I'm joking about the gross thing. I mean, I'm kind of joking. I'm a Gemini, so like, I, I don't know. I feel like we air signs, we don't deal that well with emotions, but <clears throat> you know, depending on who this person is, you know, maybe they're not used to saying this kind of stuff as well. I feel like they're probably not because they're the strong silent type. But I feel like they're going to make a special effort for you to come in and give you some emotions. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was a pleasure to read for you. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, if you did enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. Uh, and take care of yourselves, Aquarius. Lots of love to you. Bye.